I was learning and it didn't, it wouldn't like get the ends of it, so I was learning. And then uh, my girlfriend was like, hey, you just, you just printed shirts that say anal. And then that was the first time in 30 years that I was like, oh wow, my name, my whole life has just been sitting right there. I love and, that you, yeah. the, like it's a punk rock band. That was yeah. so fucking D-Anal Tech. <laughs> my favorite band. Yeah. D-Anal Tech. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah, this, is a, this is a fun time. So uh, you just got to sign one for me, Whoa. and then you can keep the others that you so desire. Oh, and there was no gum. Comedians open cards! It's Comedians opening cards, no coffee, and it's uh, Tuesday night, and we're in... Uh, duh, duh. Bowling Green. Bowling Green, Ohio, at the uh, Coffee Dave's Bar, and oh, what a show! Couple, uh, a couple pre-comics, and then the headliner, Dan. I was fist bumping. Dan Alton. Dan Alton, holy high energy! Go see holy, this freaking guy. So I got some cards. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> and you get to pick something out. <laughs> And then you get to open them, and then you talk about it for as long or as short as you want. You sign one, you can keep the others if you so desire. Some of them have gum, some comedians have eaten them. I don't recommend it. That gum it. is so scary. A guy last night was eating, I was down at um, Planet of the Tapes, I yeah. think down in your home, that's freaking zone. Yeah, I know that and up. someone was eating the gum, he even had the brown shit Ugh. around the edge, and he freaking, and I'm like, yeah. dude, I am not responsible. It's funny. I, if How it, old is this? It's from, like, see this brown around the edges? That one, I wouldn't. Well, it's from like 80. I, I take no responsibility for gum eating and, you know, nasty. That's, don't eat that one. It's 1989. This side isn't brown. I mean. It's very chalky. Yes, I've heard a lot of different descriptions of the gum. But it's not bad. It kind of tastes like a ton of it, you know? It's funny, too, because the gum, I've, I've had a few cards like from some of these similar ones, and the gum, in my experience, is always cracked. Like a concrete crack thing. Right. So it's like, uh, oh, is it, so, it, was it originally solid? They were solid, yeah. So originally the gum was like the shape of the card. Yeah, almost like the, well, no, it's like a small little nude piece oh, of gum. Okay. Um, I think when Attell opened them, it was like a powder. Like oh, it, this is great. <laughs> Hopefully the gum. Oh my god! Look at all this stuff. There's that white powder you wanted. Oh god, it's terrible here. It might be asbestos. Yeah. Like it had just, and sometimes they're stuck. Like I think if they were stored improperly, it could get moisture in there or something, and it's sometimes so disgusting. And other times it looks okay. The differences in the ones you have here are absurd. Well, because you'll have like Dick Tracy. Oh, I have a Dick Tracy. That's the other one I was trying to figure out. I have a Dick Tracy and an Alf. And, but then it's like this, they also have Vietnam. And Dick then Tracy the almost sounds War. like a trans. Uh. Dick Tracy. <laughs> I mean, <it's, laughs> Dick Tracy is what I call it when my jeans are too tight. <laughs> uh, what is this one? A doodle? No, doc, doc Walkers? This is an odd one. Um, uh, Joe List is the only person who's opened a pack of these. Oh, okay. They're weird cards. We neither of us really understood what they were. There we go. We're recording. Yes, it's going. Thank I don't you know so what much. this is. This it's is some uh, weird dude, dude de Yonkers. I have no idea what this is. It feels like one card. <laughs> I got a, I got a lift waiting for me here. Mark ate the gum in the old freaking thing. Oh wow! It was insane. That is insane. Yeah, I couldn't okay, believe it. Okay, here's under flanking. <laughs> You picked the weirdest one. Riot. If I lose my perfect I know, star I'm, rating, I'll, I'll, I'm going to shoot somebody. I'll, I'll pay you money, whatever it is. Look at Which ones did uh, Mort Saul open? Mort Saul, <laughs> I have not. I don't even know if he's alive. I, don't think he is. I have not been able he to get I assumed he died because he ate this gum. I, I take no responsibility, though. I love it. I love that. Man. What? Uh, Godfrey opened Kojak and like did the so he like did the song. <laughs> it was Kojak amazing. Song. And here's the music. I don't How remember. Many songs do you know? Oh my gosh. Um, do you know the Bob, Bob Marley collection? Well, yeah, there's, there's I like a, a lot of songs. 
you know? This is an absurd, like, because any given topic, it's like, well, I have this one right here. <laughs> it's like, we have to figure out who got killed by this gum. And it's like, well, let's look at the Murder, She Wrote the cards. Right, and, um... No one is you doing don't have Murder, She Wrote. I don't have Murder, She Wrote. I don't even know if they made them, because they didn't I make them for not. everything. Like, um, uh... Maybe Dentine is the game. Uh, uh, there's one that, like, they made... Oh, well, who... Uh, oh, Andy Griffith, like, they, they, that was released, like, after the fact. Like, this oh, really? did not come out yet. Yeah. And, uh, Nate Bergazzi opened that. Retro because he, this was, he said this was, like, the only show he was allowed to watch as a kid, and he's watched every episode. Now, in Home Alone 2, there's a possible Trump card. Oh, which is worth coin. Yeah. But and a few people have opened it, but no one's gotten Trump. No, and no I got you know, Trump. I, yeah, exactly. Wow. I, I don't know what I would do if I opened it and got the Trump. I would feel like I would have to split the um, ownership. Rick it. Glassman opened it, and then he pretended he like got up and went ah, yeah. and he pretended that he got the Trump card, which was funny. I'm... That was I just card. got Trump. No, that was I got Trump acting. Oh, oh! As if you got the Trump. Yeah, card. I watch people. Un oh, yeah. I watch people open, up, <laughs> open, cards. open packs all the time, and when they do, they get so <laughs> scared that they're afraid they got to put it down because their hands are shaking. They go, and they don't want to. I don't. And they go, I don't know what to do. The thing. I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they have the cases pre-ready. Of course. You know? I'm, I, I'm tempted to open Batman to find out who the real Batman is. Oh, I don't know if they reveal it. Oh, I don't know dang. if they take off the cow. <laughs> Which is referring to your cow, yeah. C O W L, I think they spell, yeah. but it is cow, cow and you have a cow. Right. Yeah, it's just. How about a cow, cow? cow well, you, that's up to you. That would be that, fun. That's your, but then you have to have a mask that would no, be a hard one. The, the shirt pull off was great. No, <laughs> no, no, who expected that? And yes, oh my god, if it's hot, how could you not do that? No, it was so hot. It was yeah. absurd. I can't, I'm fascinated about this one because laughs. The ones I didn't know that per, these three shows were on. Isn't per, I just thought Perfect Strangers was like 80s. And then these, I think it was early 90s. I would have, well... Perfect Strangers, yeah. Family Matters, Full House. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess they're the same time period. Uh, it's the bartender is emptying the sink, and I thought he was <laughs> farting. And he was looking at me, and because he was... He, to him, it wasn't weird that it was making that sound. It's like, though, <laughs> none of the shows were good enough to have their own. Yeah. They had to put them together. And all, oh, I don't, maybe I don't have one here. There's a, uh, oh, someone opened it the other night. Um, uh, there was a, I have Nickelodeon. Oh, that's, that's. And it's so timely. Like they were all say. cartoons. It was like Doug and, uh, uh, Ren and Stimpy and that kind foot of stuff. Card. I'm gonna, can I open Bill and Ted? No one has ever opened Bill and Ted! Really? Really? That's so exciting! Yes! I just go for it? Is there a particular way? I, like, do you, it's do you, you it however, no, you, well, you, it's up, since you get to keep all but one, oh. however oh. you want to preserve it is up to you. This is great. The gang in the midi in medieval times. Oh, that's, and uh, oh, it even says on the back <laughs> exactly what it was. You knew exactly, but you, I, what I what, England, fifteenth century. Since I've never seen these before, not a lot of cards have no borders. Oh, like, that's a no border card, so it's all image. So I can play it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a great card. Just a pro the professor. They're not professor. He's a teacher. I don't even know if I saw this movie. You never saw Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Yeah, I don't really watch movies. <laughs> this, or watch TV. This is them climbing into hell. Oh, this is from both movies. Oh, is um is that Cam is uh is Carlin? George, George Carlin, Carlin was in this. I'm what looking for a Carlin card. card. No, no uh, Carlin. Dang. Boy, chicks tied up. Chicks with, tied up. With really like insanely Elaborate tight rope. ropes. What's that rope thing that the Japanese do that's like <laughs> What you know that? I, I don't know, actually. Oh, okay. There's, like, some term for that. Like, yeah, if you like hentai, this is the start of it. <laughs> All right, what? let's see what the... Let's see That's what the that Japanese is. bondage thing, right? That oh, you said? hentai is more than bondage. It is a dark rabbit hole, everybody. Term for that, like, that bondage well, thing where the ropes are... people use these types of ropes more? That's a lot of rope. It's very expensive. You have to have a ship. Yeah, that is true. That's, like, shipping. Though. Yeah. It's pricey. I mean, ropes... I don't even know that. Oh, that's uh, what's his name? Uh, Keanu. Keanu Reeves and the other dude. Alex Winter. Alex Winter. He directed Has he done anything? A, uh, he Since... directs movies. He oh. directed like Repo Man, and then he directed. Uh, oh wow! A Frank Zappa documentary recently. Oh wow! Yeah. My roommate in college, um, he only had strange things are afoot. He only had Frank Zappa albums. Oh, the only no. music he was to was Frank Zappa, and I'm like, oh, no. dude. Frank Zappa's fine, but something else. He's like, yeah. no, it covers all the damage. He's also a jazz yeah, guy. And I'm yeah. like, okay, but I can't only listen to Zappa. Not, you have to do, and then he was, 
decapitated that in a car like, accident. What? Yeah, he ran under. That a, sounds like a Frank Zappa lyric. He, <laughs> he, he was driving to a. Actually, it happened because I went to Penn State Barron in, in Erie, and he was driving to Cleveland. To, I mean, I should maybe act like this is serious. I mean, it's true, but. He was driving to a basketball game in Cleveland, and it was foggy, and him and the friend, and I'm glad I wasn't more friend, better friends with him, they drove underneath a, tra a, a, a oh jackknife tractor trailer and were decapitated. Wow. And then... What was the trailer called? Uh, head and Shoulders. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, well, for it to be a Frank Zappa truly moment, that yes. like, it was it was it was hauling a bunch of those Japanese square watermelons. So, like, and two days later, I, you know, you have the showers that are like in the, like, so I leave, I go, I take a shower, and you don't take clothes, you just have a towel. Yeah. I walk back into my room with just a towel. I open the door, and his entire family is in my room, and I'm just standing there in oh, a man. towel. Yeah. Oh, uh, so being on stage, not scared of that at all. <laughs> Talk There's about zero awkward. chance that this, you're going to suddenly be in a towel in front of your right. roommates. <laughs> oh, my God. Extended was... Frank Zappa family. Yeah, that was... Yeah. That is wild. It was crazy. I wonder what Frank would think of that. He probably had something witty and urbane to say. Yeah, he was a smart, <laughs> smart guy. He was very smart. And he was not particularly and nice. He, oh, he wasn't nice? Well, he seemed like that smart thing where you're too, like, you know what I mean? He's real, real with the, the And he went to school with Words that like other that. dude. That, uh... Prosper up. No, he went to school with another music guy who... Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 trout, uh, yeah, fish, trout mass replica. Yes, uh, Captain Beefheart. Yes, Don Van Vliet. Yes. When you turned the camera, I looked it up really. Quick. Yeah, <laughs> you're so fast. The, Not the only viewers, on the, the mic, but also with the, uh, with the, with the, with the thing. Yeah, it really got dark. <laughs> So, what do you think of those cards? No, these are cool cards. Yeah, so... Frank Zappa's son did music for this movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I just now realized How that. did that happen? <laughs> Dweezil Zappa, baby. Wow. That's so weird. I, I, the, the serendipity that happens the with the cards is crazy talk. I like this one. It's the villa. Oh. He had a crazy yeah. name. What was it? I don't know. Denomalous. Denomalous? Yeah. Wow. I wonder what that's supposed to like mean. But your last name also begins with a D. No, it's just Alton. My name's Dan Alton. Oh, oh, the D. But if you put my name I together, gotcha. the word anal is in the middle. So it's D-A-N-A-L-T. -A -A okay, now I understand. So when I first made a shirt with, with my name printed on it. Do you want to sh uh, show a shirt? No, we don't have No, to. we could. Show some merch. I'll show it. Yeah, show a shirt. They're, they're hilarious. So that I'll just make sense. Yeah. Well, you're already over here. Well, I'm speedy. Oh, no, you're good. But we uh, need light. Uh, I like that. So yes, yeah, so my name. The first time I printed this, I was learning, and it didn't. It wouldn't like get the ends of it, so I was learning. <laughs> and then uh, my girlfriend was like, "Hey, you just, just printed shirts say anal." <laughs> and then that was the first time in 30 years that I was like, "Oh wow, my name, <laughs> my whole life that's just been sitting right there." <laughs> I love that you. Yeah. The, like it's a punk rock band. That was yeah. so the fucking great. The Angle <laughs> My favorite band! Yeah! <laughs> Daniel Tim. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah, this, is, this is a fun time. So uh, you just gotta sign one for me. Whoa. And then you can keep the others that you so desire. I and there was it. no gum. So you didn't No, but that's okay. Keep... No, I know. You know. It's sometimes funny well, to see. The band? I don't want to give up any of these. No, I'm just well, there's that one that's whatever that thing is. But is when, that a, is that a cop out if I sign like the rules card? You can do whatever you want. There's no, what, there's no. Wait, no, does it open? I have to keep does, that. Like, does that open? It, it lets you win a trip Look. to San Dimas. Oh my God, it does open. Oh, yeah. you scratch. I, I don't think it'll still work. I what, could, what if you scratch it like well, you were the winner? I won. I won. <laughs> I can be in the third villain Ted movie. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a thing that says like you know it expires in 1992 yeah. or whatever the hell it would be. Yeah, look, it doesn't feel like you can even scratch it. Like, just rub your finger along. It feels like it does feel like there's one in. There was a last night. Also, there was a there was a weird card of like uh, grotesque greeting cards, and there were three oh, cards, yeah, yeah. and one of them had supposedly a stinky scratch and sniff. But of course, we scratched it. It was the pig's butt, and you scratched it, and Whoa. there was no smell, which was kind of disappointing. That's a cop out, but in a way, it's also good. Yeah, and my last name is Bacon, so it was kind of funny oh, to really? get the pig. Yeah. Oh, oh is this a scratch and stink? You can smell the, you can smell the pig's ass. Maybe it smells like bacon. Let's see. My last name. Oh, okay. I give it a good scratch here. <laughs>
I can't imagine that's still gonna work. No, smells like old paper. That's perfect. I thought that was good. I signed this one of them going into hell because I have a happy signature and I wrote Dan Alton loves you. Awesome. So even Bill and Ted, when dealing with the hardest, know that I'm in support of them. Awesome, man. And you're, and you're traveling all around doing the comedy freaking all scene, all man. All over. Good for you. Whoever's watching this, wherever you are, I'll be there. <laughs> Go oh, see that's him. that's where the camera is. It's there. I expect, it's I, here. In my mind, I'm... It's weird because when you point, you look. You're, you think you're looking straight right. ahead, right? And then you point. In my mind, I'm pointing I know. straight ahead. Exactly. And boom. Yeah, I know. It's, it throws you off. It throws you off. Awesome. Well, <laughs> thank, thank you so much, man. Dan. Very good meeting you. Go see live comedy. That's the way to do it. <laughs>